Hello and welcome to my quick tutorial on how to install mods for Slay the Spire. Now before we get into this, I do want to give a quick note or two. Uh, first off, this is currently how it works. This is likely to probably change uh, as we proceed into different versions and as the game uh, progresses, but for now this is how it works. I will try to do updated videos uh, as it does change. And then also, uh, to be able to do this, you need to make sure you are not on the beta branch of the game, that you have opted out of betas. And if you go to your library and right click and go to properties, uh, and then betas, make sure you're opted out. Because currently, if you are opted in, uh, it will crash at some point in the process uh, using mods. So just a quick note there. But first off, uh, we do want to locate our Slay the Spire folder. And the easiest way to do that is, again, go to properties and then local files and browse local files. And this is uh, typically pretty much should always be where your Slay the Spire folder is uh, for Steam. Okay, so we're in our main folder here. Now you need two things uh, in addition to whatever mod you're using. You need a mod the spire dot jar and base mod dot jar. And I will put links to both of these in the description, but another note with those is do pay attention to the versions. Uh, I found when troubleshooting this that uh, as of the time of making this video, the latest version of Mod the Spire actually broke backwards compatibility, uh, so my mods wouldn't work and I had to troubleshoot and I figured out I needed to actually use an older version of this to work. So hopefully they fix that soon, but just uh, be aware of the different versions and such. But uh, first off, we need to take our Mod the Spire dot jar and I've just put it in a very temporary folder here, uh, maybe in your downloads or something. So we can just take this and copy it or drag and drop it into our main directory here for Slay the Spire. Okay, and then the next step is going to be to create a new folder in here called Mods. Okay, so we just simply call it Mods, and we open this up, and within this Mods folder, we then take any mods we're using. I'm going to actually do two for this demonstration. Um, the colored map mod and the fruity mod, which is actually a mod that adds a new class to the game. Uh, we need our mods that we're using as well as the base mod uh, and to drop these into the mods folder. Okay, so these are now in here. Uh, now this is very important. Uh, at this stage, again, as of this time, this may change in the future and I will update if I can, if it does. But as of this time, you need to actually launch the game through the modthespire.jar instead of through Steam now, if you want to use mods. You can still use it through Steam if you just want to play vanilla, but if you want to use these mods, you need to actually launch it through here. Okay, so we just double click this. And uh, if you have uh, your thing to set up to open jars as Java, then you're good to go. Uh, but if you don't, because I did not, I was still trying to open it with WinRAR, um, you still you just need to go into here and go into properties and change this and locate your Java on your PC and just have it to open jars with Java instead of you know a, a zip opening program. Uh, so we just double click this and you should get a box here where you can check the things you want. So we, in this case, want all of them. We definitely want base mod. We have to have that, fruity mod and color. Uh, map and we now click play and this is going to load some stuff up uh, in this dialog box and then it will launch the game and you'll see when we get in there that these mods are then active so this does take a second uh, but we can see the game now launches uh, black screen for a second while this loads and once we get in here uh, there will be three uh, or two little two little things here are three little things uh, you can see base mod fruity mod and color map right here and now uh, when you go in there the mods will apply so if we go here we can see we now have this extra new class the mod has added and then if we go here with the colored map mod for this particular mod uh, the dev has added a nice little gui where we can change the color of things so say we want shops to be i don't know uh this color then we can do that and then just click the next so on and so forth so this is uh this is how you install mods currently again i will try to update as i can the uh github for the mod the spire dot jars and the base mods uh, will be in the description and then you know whatever mod you want you can search and uh, that's how you do it it's really easy really simple and I hope this has been helpful if you have any questions or anything uh, leave them down below but until next time I look forward to seeing you all and do take care